Hello and happy Motivational Monday to my Cancers. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Cancers. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Let's see what your cards have to say, Cancers. Let's go. All right. Those of you all who've been with me for a while know that I pray over the cards before I even turn the camera on. So I've already asked source questions um, as a follow-up to your Sunday reading, right? So I did see marriage in someone's cards, both in uh, your personal and your professional life. And I'm also seeing some kind of victory for somebody like you're actually being rewarded for closing out cycles and moving on, right? Just you're actually being rewarded for that source of saying, move on from any energy that tries to get you to be reactive before you've had a chance to process information yourself, right? So yeah, <clears throat> so that you're not easily manipulated being the mother of the Zodiac sign, of the zodiac signs. All right, let's go, Cancers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You already have the questions for the moon and Pisces. We are still gearing up for this first quarter moon phase. Here's the strength card. Here we have the world card. We have the hang one. We have the two of pentacles. We also have the queen of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Like I said, people who cause you to be reactive. They're projecting themselves onto you. They, they... <clears throat> excuse me, misjudge people and they're too proud and arrogant to even apologize. Or maybe I was wrong. They never going to apologize for being wrong or misunderstand. They just waiting for, they will sit there like a, like a predator. They will prey on something until it becomes true. So they never have to apologize. So sources saying, I see you closing out cycles with those types of energies. Here we also have the world card and then also the hang one. So source is saying to you, some people, they, they need their ego won't allow them for something to not be true about somebody because they don't care about people evolving. They want you to know that they've evolved, but they don't care about other people evolving. So source is saying now that you're closing out cycles, you're using this, your time very wisely, right? You didn't waste any time. Your reputation is still intact. Here we have the queen of pentacles. That's the two of pentacles. We end the four of pentacles, right? Sources say sources already approved you to move on and close out cycles with energies. You've already been approved. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart. You're no longer looking for their approval. You're not looking for anything that they've said about you or other people to um, give you any more clarity about whomever where you can make your own mind up. Source is the one that's downloading information into you. They're just energy was just trying to get you to be reactive. So... Um, <clears throat> it happens a lot in the workplace. It happens a lot just in life in general. Like I feel like somebody could have worked in a place where um, people tell you about the new person coming on board and before and hoping that you would judge them just based on someone else's assessment, right? And their own prejudice, right? Oh, a woman is coming to be in that position that a man typically typically has taken over. Or a man is coming to be in that position that a woman uh, typically would be in. You know, be, their own prejudices, right? About certain things. And they're dumping them onto you. Or, you know, I know this about this person, that about this person. And I don't like that type of person. And that's their own prejudice about something be, it, without giving you an opportunity. And because you spent more time with them, you may feel like, okay, I trust this person's opinion uh, because I know them more than I know that energy. So it's just saying, hang in there with yourself, hang in there with yourself. Because again, in order for, and you all being the mother of the Zodiac, I don't want to say should know this, but I feel like the source has brought you into a deeper level of understanding how powerful the mother of the Zodiac is, right? is that you know that if you have kids, you know, they change. Not just their physical features and the size of their shoes, the the they outgrow classes, but I'm talking about their spirits. Like they they're constantly evolving. So I do feel like somebody is learning more about prejudging or being connected to people who prejudge people. Source is putting you around a lot of creative energies. A lot of creative energies. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. Here we have the eight of wands. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Here we have the Knight of Wands. Here we also have the Three of Pentacles. Here we have the King of Wands. And the Ace of Swords. Your breakthrough is coming in when you say, okay, whoever I spent the most time around. See, I think in your previous reading, I want to see, let me remember your previous reading. 
with all of this thinking going on, what people did not want you to do was get by yourself and start processing your emotions, Cancer. Because if you started processing your emotions, Cancer, guess what? You're going to start dissecting everything they told you. Remember, um, you knowing somebody longer is saying, okay, I know this about them, but let me see what, what, let me, let me get, let me, let me connect with the person I really, that I heard about and let me see what I get from them. Like what kind of energy do I pick up from them? So when you're detaching, you know, from people and people want to assume that you detach early from people, trust it is because, you know, this is again, they've already decided, hmm, nah, they didn't detach early. They, they've they gone through some stuff with some people where they try to hang in there just like you try to hang in there. So your whole idea now, your mindset is different now. So let's, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Everything is lining up for you perfectly. Everything is lining up for you perfectly. Source is sending your, your, your group of people around. Like your soul community, source is sending your soul community to you, which is nice. And these are other creatives. So sources say stay away from treacherous people. There's a difference between some people need to cut people off right away. Some people need to detach to protect their mental health, their physical health and their mental health. So what I'm seeing here, when you talk about treacherous energies, um, I feel like from your first reading, some people may have, um, somebody may have projected, somebody may have told you about somebody else or other people that wasn't entirely true. They didn't tell the full story, but somebody could have found out if you had listened, if you had, if, if you had paid attention, cause somebody got away from some kind of treachery. So source said to you, I have to take you through some kind of a treacherous act so that when, when, when people are telling you that, <clears throat> They had to flee a situation for their life. They had to flee some kind of organization, whether it was a church, a fraternity, sorority, when they had to flee a job. You know, these people look like one thing on one or on the outside, they come across as this or some other kind of society. They had to come they come across as this way, but behind closed doors, they're actually this way. This has been my experience with them. Like a lot of people take a lot of pride in saying, oh, I work for such and such organization because that organization has built up. That's their brand. They've built up this reputation, right? But it's not until you're actually in something that you start saying, well, wait a minute. Some people have been on the run for a long time and, and you don't know, you, I mean, you don't know, again, source had to walk you through something cancer so that you know that people weren't lying and making up stuff. Whoever it is, here we have the uh, magician card, very clear messages came through to you. This is attached to the magician card. The magician card is attached to Mercury. Mercury is, um, Mercury is, was pre-shadow retrograde November 25th through December 12th, right? And then it went retrograde on December 13th. So source is saying to you, very clear messages are coming through. Very clear messages are coming through. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's just saying, you didn't waste your time. You, you had to sit in that and learn some lessons about some how treacherous some people can be. So when another person is telling you, see, sometimes you don't have to fully talk to another person to know because other people will tell on themselves. They'll tell on themselves. They'll tell you, oh, yeah. Uh, and they'll tell you how violent they are. They could be talking about somebody else being violent, but they'll tell you how violent they are. They'll say, oh, yeah, such and such had to do X, Y, and Z. And you sitting there like, oh, my God, now it makes sense why certain people don't want to do with certain people three of wands so it's just saying take a leap of faith three and eight of wands is 11 right yep sources are about to make you booked and busy and not burdened at all because you have all of these great ideas you had to first get away from certain types of energies because i don't think somebody even realizes certain types of energies cause you to be reactive was actually they were actually messing up your money they were actually um, messing up your money. So source had to put you around some other clear water energies, some other creatives that are not sitting around trauma bonding and plotting and planning and being toxic. So I had to put source had to put you around some energies or will put you around some clear water energies. That's going to really help you on your journey. You just have to stop talking about the energies you left behind and how hurt you were, right? How hurt you were. You're going to have to close out that cycle airtight. That ace and that one, it's like one minus one, zero. Close it out. You weren't a fool. 
You were played for a fool. Source had to keep you in some spaces so that when people come to you and tell you how treacherous some groups are, you wouldn't look at them like they had a, a, a eyeball in the middle of their head. Here we have the Knight of Cups. Some people had to learn to save, save themselves. They had to learn by coming through a um coming through nightmares. Right? So I do see you cutting some cords with some energies. I see you cutting cords with certain types of energies. Not that you don't have any compassion for the energies that were like I said, you spent time with certain types of energies you may have spent time with. Um and, and and not that you don't have compassion for what they've gone through, but the fact that they, the fact that with all the time you spent with certain people, whether it's family members, family members could be blood or not blood relatives. They could be people you were married to or thought about marrying or people who have been friends. You know what I'm saying? Family, like family, friends could be family, whatever. But the fact that you spend so much time and energy with these energies and they had all of that time to tell you some stuff and they didn't tell you some things, you're like, okay, you know what? I'm not even upset. They're going to have to learn from somebody else. I I need to move on. I need to move on. So I see somebody working in a new environment where you feel changed, liberated, and free in a new environment. So sources like don't bring those wounded emotions into a new environment, into a new friendship, into a new romantic relationship. Close it out. Close it out. Two situations in particular sources. Close it out. Close it out. Close it out. Close it out. Hang in there with yourself. Because if you're sitting around like, I can't believe they played me. I can't believe they lied. They actually played themselves. Five and three of pentacles. So it's kept telling you all kinds of messages. They stand connected to you for what they can get from you, Cancer. They are staying connected to you for what they can get from you. It, it's either your, your knowledge and wisdom that they want to stay connected to and they want to use it. But you were definitely dealing with some gold diggers. G, they were they had a goal in mind. I know it's usually G-O-L-D. But some people had a goal in mind in using you somehow to get through a vault door. Taking you and I mean, getting into your vault door with you. The vault door was the vault door in Five of Pentacles. This symbolizes emotional wounding. If they can keep you emotionally wounded by bonding with you in that way, just very toxic energy, right? Maybe we can walk through your vault door together. I could use you, right? But source says, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm telling you, I keep trying to tell people, source will have you walking past your vault door. It will seem like forever until you start the healing process. And in that healing process, cancer, source said, hold on for a second. Knight of Wands. I need to get you away from some energies fast so I can talk to you, right? This is where your spiritual, your spirituality and take action. I need to get you right there at that solar plexus chakra. I need you to be able to take action. Just, I'm going to need to get you, get you away from them. I need to get you away from certain types of energies, cancer. That's what source kept trying to tell you. I need to get you away from certain types of energy. And with this fire, somebody could have gone somewhere pretty sunny, you know, somewhere where you, or you could have just gone outside. You could have wrapped up tight in your coat and hat, wherever you are in the planet. Could have removed that stale energy from your uh, your spirit and said, okay, source, I need to talk to you. And that's where source says, okay, eight and three is 11. I need you to spring forward. I need you to take a leap of faith and move forward fast. Get away from those types of energies. Um, and then also the king of wands. The magician card came out twice. I've been sending you all kinds of messages about certain types of energies that just want you to be reactive, right? Full card came out. Full and upright, telling you to close out the cycles, further reiterating. I went around and around and around in my mind, and I kept thinking for the life of me, I've been spending all this time for this energy, and I've been manipulated this time, this amount of time by this type of energy. I spent so much time that I'm listening to... <clears throat> What people are saying versus what they're not saying. So this is like in all that time, I've been sending you information about the two energies. I've been sending you a whole lot of information. Eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Everything is lining up perfectly for you, but you feel like somebody is emotionally wounded and you're staying connected to the emotional wounding one when they're really reporting back to somebody else. 
And I spent all this time with this energy and this energy could have told me something when really your intuition was telling you something. Your intuition kept telling you something. So I feel like looking at your cards here, like I said, I already prayed over the cards and I already see what I'm looking at. When you close out a cycle with two types of energies in particular, it's not just two people, it's two types of energies in particular that causes emotional wounding. Uh, whether you feel like they're emotionally wounded and they're using the time that like the time that they spent as a crutch, like, you know how people say, I always wanted to write a book or I always wanted to go back to school. I always wanted to do X, Y, and Z and my time is passed. And so they using their emotions as a crutch, right? Or, and they try to project that to, onto other people is everybody else's fault, right? Trying to get you to be reactive, or I spent all this time trying to be that person's friend and they turn around and they did X, Y, and Z to me. They're just very, they're root. I mean, when I say ruthless and vindictive source is saying, get away from those types of energies, right? They don't, they don't, they don't care about, like I said, people evolving. So let's get some more information on this marriage situation here for you all. Now that you're closing out cycles airtight and hang in there with yourself. This is Neptune. Neptune is the planet of imagination and transcendence. It's also the planet of dreams and fantasies, imagination, sacrifice, romance. So that's why I don't want you to get upset because I don't want you to say I sacrificed so much time and my time slash money in this and such and such sources. Like, don't do that to yourself. Like for real, that time is relative. Source will keep you in situations until there is, you will not go back. Sometimes you keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So when you're done, you're really done. So sometimes it, it feels like that, you know, so I see you closing out some cycles and I do see you moving on. So you're moving on to more blissful life. All right. So what I see as far as somebody's, um, love interest is I do see somebody who one prayed for you. Then we also have the, the, uh, world card again. So it's several situations that you've been around. And like I said, sometimes you got to go back a couple of times to see what the heck, right? Like what in the world? But source made it make sense. Source is the one that makes sense. So source is saying at this table is somebody's love interest, right? You may be taking a minute to say, okay, I need to slow down and I need to attract certain energies around me first, right? Because I know the energy of money is very attractive to me. I need to stay away from energies that don't, they're not a great manager of their time, right? So they blame everybody else. Like, oh, I wasted my time here, wasted my time there. They're just having that kind of conversation. Like, I need to stay away from that. Like, what, what are we doing moving forward? Because you, you're going back. That, that may need to be in therapy. Like, you know, I'm trying to move forward. So source is saying, we had the eight. Eight of pentacles three times, right? Three times, right? So source is sending you an enormous amount of information about how to circulate your wealth of time, like how to pour back into how to circulate wealth, not how I'm not, I didn't waste my time. I didn't spend my time. And then we have the, the nine of pentacles and knight of pentacles. So this is the eight of pentacles coming out four times, right? So source is saying you got all of this, you have all of this time that somebody may have felt like they wasted, you didn't waste any time. So it's been trying to tell you, Hey, I need you to close out some things. I need you to close it out one. Yeah. So I need you to close it out and move on from some types of energies because I see you building legacy wealth and all the, all the time that you've invested into energies who waste their time. And who blame everybody else and try to get you to be reactive instead of them knowing how to move on and, and, and extend people compassion and those kind of things. Source is saying, I'm showing you here. We have the five of cups, right? So here we have the nine of cups and the six of cups. So you're going from five of cups to 10 of cups. You're going from lamenting over something where I felt like I wasted my time to saying, you know what? Let me swing back into action. You know, I didn't waste my time. I'm circulating wealth, right? So just like I circulated wealth of knowledge with them, wealth of discernment, wealth of money, wealth of career success, whatever, 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 I can circulate it to a new group of people that source is sending across my path. So, and I see you doing it victoriously. Yep, I see you doing it victoriously. We also have the seven of wands. So I do see you sitting down somewhere and really thinking about, and you're booked and busy because source is definitely gonna give you enough work to do. 
in this, I feel like for those of you all who want to be in a business marriage or romantic marriage, the energy is really a sweetheart like you. They're very nurturing. They have a clear agenda. They too, like you, human lie detectors, detectors, they're very loyal, um, very compassionate types of energy. Um, they won't waste your time. Uh, one, you have to decide what they look like on the outer shell. Remember, this is a general reading. I'm talking to a camera and I'm being guided by source, right? So their energy, at least on the inside, they're just a really kind hearted person. You know, for you, you'll feel like, wow, this is just what I needed. Like this is the fresh water that I needed. Um, but again, it'll take you back to, I don't know why I wasted so much time there, like on, you know, with other energies, investing so much of my time and energy that would just, it wouldn't even make sense for you to keep on saying, I don't understand why I wasted my time. I don't know why I wasted my time in that job. No one don't know why I wasted my time in that friendship, that romantic relationship, uh, wasted that time, wasted my time being manipulated by family members. It's just a, it's a, yeah. So sources say, instead of lamenting over something, make that a short period of time. Thank you, source. Thank you. I didn't waste my time. I, now I know exactly that I need to swing into action sooner. Death card. We also have the nine of wands, the nine of swords. Here we have the hang woman. Here we have the page of coins and also the page of swords, right? So again, when it comes to two situations in particular, I need to hang in there with myself. I don't need to go into escapism when it comes to certain things. Uh, instead, I'm looking at here, page of swords, your anxiety about a situation. As soon as you close it out, the anxiety is going to go away real soon because it looks like somebody kept going around and around and around in circles on the same thing. And source just kept saying to somebody, uh, close it out, close it out, close it out. I got it. I got it from here. I, I need you somewhere else. Come on, close it out, close it out, close it out. So I do see somebody investing in themselves, like really possibly investing in your education and making more money and getting away from a nightmare. The nine of swords, getting away from a nightmare. Yep, getting away from backstabbing energies. It literally could be around, um, it literally, like I said before, here we have the um, the nine of wands. Somebody is just at the end of a long and arduous journey. Like I said before, to keep talking about it, overthinking it, talking about how much time you wasted. Well, you can be now putting that list together of what you don't want because it's fresh in your mind. I don't want this kind of job because I want to work with these types of energies. I don't want to be connected to these types of energies. So here we have the death rebirth card. So yeah, that's what source has been trying to tell somebody is like, look, it's your universe. How are you going to conduct your universe? Your universe will be your mind. How are you going to use your swords? Your sword is your power and your intellect. How are you going to use your power and your intellect? The more you talk about it, the more power you're giving to energies, the more power you're giving to these nightmares that you may have been having. How are you going to proceed moving forward? Yeah, let me see something. Yeah, how are you going to proceed moving forward? It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Let's get ready to close it out again. Happy Motivational Monday. Happy Motivational Monday. Happy Motivational Monday. But yeah, like I said before, whether it's marriage and business and or in love, Source is introducing you to a whole new group of people. Don't It doesn't matter where you live. You can live in the middle of a, the desert. Source is saying that's where you start speaking and thinking, okay, creatively. I poured out so much of my emotion into stuff. Creatively, what does that look like? Okay, if you live in the middle of a desert, it looks like your online family, right? Remember technology, right? Some people, as soon as you try to tell them they're about to meet their new person, but I don't know how. I don't live near anybody. That person could be online. You can meet that person at the grocery store. It can be the person who brings your your groceries to your door. I mean, like get creative. Um, but again, source is saying to you, you're on the end of a long and arduous journey and you're about to be around some energies, whether it's online or in person or however you tell source you want. Because again, you all are pretty much homebodies, which is a good thing. So that gives you your time to sit out there and map out your list. What type of energies do you want to date? What type of friends do you want? Right? Do you want people who, you know, when you when you want to spend time alone in the house, are they going to say, oh, you never come out? Or whatever. This is your time. This is your time to put that list together. So, all right, let's get ready to shut it down. Here we have the Joker in reverse. Here we also have the Jack, 
Jack of Wands. Here we have the Four of Hearts. Here we have the King of Hearts. Here we have the Ace of Wands and also the Three of Wands. Again, taking a leap of faith. Get as far away from energies that you that will cause you to be burned out thinking about how much time you spent next to them or spent with them just for them to be reactive. When Source gave you 999 messages about certain energies not telling you everything, right? Somebody's not telling me everything. Like somebody's leaving me in the dark about some stuff. Instead of me getting upset, I'm like, okay, you know what? No more flame lit, lit there. Here we have the Joker in reverse. So that could go for somebody either way. Somebody could feel like a fool in reverse or a fool upright. Fool upright would be a person who feels changed, liberated, and free. I see no obstacles where I'm going. I now know exactly what I don't want. So, or somebody could feel like a fool in reverse. You know what? I feel reckless, like I made poor decisions, and I'm never going to find a group of friends again, or I'm never going to find the right job. Pointless. So it's just wants you to learn a lesson. That's it. That's it. What was the lesson? So it really is a matter of perspective, how you look at it, Cancer. Do you look at it as, you know, I wasted my time or, you know, you look at time as relative. Okay. Source let, kept me in some spaces to make sure I didn't walk into that vault with certain energies. That's what it was. It was a four and king of hearts, right? So yeah, somebody is king of their emotions. I love it. I love it. I love it. Somebody is staying away from, like I said, treacherous energies. It's further reiterated here. Three of Knights, I mean, uh, Knight of Wands came out three times. Stay away from ruthless and treacher treacherous energies that cause you to be reactive to things. Here we also have the Ace of Wands, third eye, wide open. And then we also have the Four of uh, Hearts. Source is saying, you don't need to sit around and um, ruminate over something until you're frustrated. You don't need to do that. You don't, you don't need to do that. Four, uh, four and six is 10, right? The knight minus one, nine of cups. Make your wish fulfill. Fulfill your wish. It's all of it is a matter of perspective. Remember, I read the cards upright and reverse, but I'm also seeing, showing you the dark and light side of things too. So seen, unseen, known, unknown, unknown. I'm showing you balance in your cards. It really is a matter of perspective. Did I waste my time with that family member, with that with loved one? Right? Did I waste that time with that loved one? Did I waste that, my time with my job? No, you did not. Source had to keep you there to teach you some things so, you won't, so you'll learn the lesson. So that you won't go back. So you got it so crystal clear now that it's, it's like if, if a donkey came down the street with that same energy, I would recognize it in a donkey, a tree, a stick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so now it's, it's I know that I know that energy. It tries to get me to react to things without telling me the full story. They had me all that time. They can say it was fear. I didn't want you to judge me, uh, cancer. You know, I didn't know you wanted to know X, Y, and Z. It could have been lie by commission or omission however it was all you need to know is okay the person either we're just not on the same frequency whoever they are the job the friendships family members whoever it's a spirit that's what i have for you um so whoever like i said try to get you to react to some certain things where they didn't tell you they didn't tell you the whole story of something so welcome to your new friendship circle who could have first start out online that's what planes trains automobiles and buses are for and cars so even if they live across the country from you hey we spent enough time talking on the phone now i know exactly what kind of questions to ask because i've already dealt with people who you know if i wanted to look at it at a lower frequency wasted my time but now i know exactly which questions to ask for energies i want around me I'm, my time is precious i'm not going to invest my time in things where i look at it later and say i wasted my time so if some of these people live across in a different country then i know how to do facetime technology right so before i get on the plane i'm not wasting my time make sense good goody 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 so in that circle, if you meet your person, hey, I know the group well enough that I know what kind of circles they already hang in. So here we have three. I am charismatic. So expression comes naturally to you, Cancer. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts. See, that was the whole purpose. Very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation create and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. Yep. And so you took what could have been a negative of a person trying to get you on board with trying to get you on board to react to something that could have been unfavorable for you 
and you turn it around to something positive with your creativity. You know what? These people sit at this table, all this clear water. We got all these creative ideas. I got people on, I can get people on board, you know, and, um, this is just the, what you, what you use your power and your intellect for. That's what you're using your power, your intellect for. I'm getting people on board for positive. I'm getting away from treacherous energies. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yep. So only you know what that energy looks like on the outside in terms of romantic love and marriage and those kind of things. But I do see somebody feeling like, wow, I've come through a long and arduous journey and maybe I wasn't connecting my personal life with my professional life. How I couldn't see how one side affects the other, but it does. It does. Somebody didn't have a healthy work-life balance and carrying other people's, somebody was definitely carrying other people's energy, reactive energy, right? I bring positive energy into my life. That's it right there. I bring positive energy into my life. Positive, positive, positive. I'm telling you, if th that person, who the people, whoever trying to get you to be reactive, they will they will take that arrogance and that pride to their grave, because for them it it will be like like torture to get them to apologize. They could have been wrong about somebody and wrong about you. Here we have affirmations for kindness. I am full of love and kindness, period. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. So when you detach from those types of energies, as sources kept telling you over and over and over again, close, close, close out the cycle. They're going to come back and say, oh, see, see, that's, that's how they, they manipulated me. Just like how they were manipulated you as if you don't have a brain in your head. So it's just saying, look, you already know what to do. Cancers, you already know what to do. That is what I have for you. I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.